5 times 10. video we're gonna learn about the quartiles for group data okay so group data are uh, data presented in a frequency distribution so this data are already arranged in order to in order of the magnitude so let us recall the formula and the procedure in getting the in getting the median or median score for the group data and the interpretation of the computed value. So, parehas na nito, ang, ang quartan, quartans for group data is halos magkapareha sila kung matatandaan natin kung paano kunin ang median of the uh, median for group data. So, di ba kung matatandaan natin ang formula ng group data or ng median for group data is um, the lower boundary of the median plus quantity n over 2 minus cumulative frequency uh, below all over the frequency of the median. So, magkapareha sila ng steps para makuha yung quartiles uh, for group data. The, different, the difference is just the n over 2 and uh, n over 4. Kasi pag quartiles ng Ang uh, natin, ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin sa n over 2 and n over 4. Okay? So, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay ito. Okay? So, quartile uh, or q sub 1 is equal to, if quartile nga natin, q sub 1 is equal to uh, lower boundary uh, sa quartile 1 plus quantity uh, n over 4 minus cumulative frequency below of the quartile 1 all over the frequency of the quartile 1. Okay? Okay, so for this example, find the quartile 1 or quartile 1 and quartile 3. Uh, systolic blood pressure of the individuals uh, Honolulu Heart Study or from Honolulu Heart Study. So, ito yung mga data. So, systolic blood pressure. So, this are the blood pressure of the individual 90 to 99. 100 to 109, 110, 119, 120, 129, 130 to 139, 140 to 149, from 50 to 159, up to 180 to 189. So, don't mind muna yung mga, may mga guwit chan, okay? O yung mga, yes, mga guwit chan. Okay, so, uh, ang kukunin muna natin, by the way, ito yung mga classes natin, these are the classes. Okay? The number of individuals is the frequency. Kung ilan yung uh, involved na mga tao. So, these are the frequencies. So, huwag muna tingnan yan. Okay, so, ang um, muna natin hahanapin muna ay quartal 1. So, huwag muna kayong magtingin sa quartal 3. So, quartal 1 muna. So, again, gagamitin natin ang formula na uh, ng quartal or uh, quartal sub 1 or Q sub 1. So, yun muna ang hahanapin natin. So, bago yun, kukunin muna natin yung cumulative frequency below. Ngayon, kung mapapansin natin, meron ba yung cumulative frequency below. Okay? So, gaya ng ginagawa natin sa median. So, para makuha ang cumulative frequency below, syempre, kukunin natin yung uh, 5. Then, i-add natin. Kasi, pagbaba mo yun below. Okay? So, 5. Less than 15, 15 plus 19, 34, 34 plus 20 is 54, 54 plus 16, 70, 70 plus 12 to the 82. So, hanggang dito muna. Okay, kasi ang kunin muna natin ay quartals or give sub 1. Okay? Okay, so kukunin natin lahat ng doon sa formula. So, ano ba yung meron doon? We have the n, um, n over 4. So, yun ang kukunin natin kagaya ng pagkuha sa median. So, n over 4, ibig sabihin yung, yung pag kuha uh, natin na para kasi yun ang magiging guide natin. Okay? So, n over 4. So, n over 4 is equal to ang n natin ngayon ay 100 then n over 4. So, 100 divided by 4 would be 25. Okay? So, itong 25 na yan, hanapin natin doon sa given uh, 
mag-guide natin doon sa pamilya ni Trigan si Bilog. So, saan yan siya? Uh, saan natin siya dapat uh, greater than or equal. Okay? Greater than or equal. So, walang 25 dyan. Tama? Kung 50, mas mababa siya. So, sabi ko si greater than or equal. So, ngayon, meron siya. Meron tayong 24. So, yun ang bubuot natin. Therefore, i-underline natin lahat ng involved dito na uh, data. Okay? So, yan, kasi yan ang magiging uh, sign natin or magiging clue natin para doon magbuha ng mga given. So, sa 25 again, yung tayo sa 34, i-underline natin na uh, yung classes ng 110 to 119, yung frequency na 19, at saka yung 34. Okay? So, next. Ano ba yung meron doon? Pupunin natin yung uh, pupunin natin yung frequency of the uh, quartal 1. So, ang frequency natin, of course, 19. Okay? And then, pupunin natin ng interval. So, ano yung interval natin? So, 10. Okay? So, I is equal to 10. Bakit 10? Kasi 10 plus uh, 90 is 100. 100 plus 10 is 110. Nama? Dito naman sa lower limit, uh, ma-minus mag 1 lang tayo. 90 plus 110 uh, is equal to 100 minus 199. Okay? So, ganun lang ang gagawin natin. So, nakuha natin yung frequency interval. Next, ipunin natin yung uh, yung LB Q sub 1. Ibig sabihin yung uh, lower boundary of the quartal 1. So, paano tayo makuha ang quartal uh, lower boundary? So, mag, so, sa, mag minus tayo ng point uh, 0.5 doon sa upper limit. Okay? So, so magiging ano natin, magiging quartal or lower part of the quartal y would be okay, so 100 uh, 109.5 kasi magmamaysan ng 0.5 doon sa 100 okay okay, so ang gagawin natin magsasubshoot na lang tayo ng mga given na nakuha natin doon sa quartal uh, q sub 1 or quartal 1 okay, so ang lower uh, boundary quartal 1 natin ay 100 Okay, 109.5 109.5 plus ang n over 4 natin yung i-complete natin 100 divided by 4 that's 25 Ma minus the cumulative frequency below so kung ito yung cumulative frequency natin kung ano yung mababa sa kanya yun yung magiging ko natin so ganyan Ma so 15 ang magiging cumulative frequency below natin of the quartet Q sub 1. So, maging 15. Then, over the median, the quartal 1. Sorry, may median dyan. So, the frequency of the median, uh, quartal 1, we have 19 times 10 of the interval. Okay? So, next. 100, copy lang, 109.5 plus 25 minus 15 okay, so that's 10 tama? and over 19 times the interval okay so what's the next copy lang ulit 109.5 plus okay so 10 times 10 diba so kapag sa yun yun matagay natin muna 10 times 10 100 10 Divide by 19. So, 109.5 plus copy na muna. 100 divided by 19 would be 5.26. So, i-add that natin. 109.5 plus 5.26 would be 100. 14.76. Okay? So, meaning, ang um, part that 1 natin or Q sub 1 ay 140.76 Okay? So, yan ang magiging quartal 1 natin. Okay, next. We're gonna find the Q sub 3. Okay? So, gaya na ginawa natin sa Q sub 1, ganun din ang gagawin natin. So, um, ang difference lang, ang pagkakaiba lang ay ang um, magiging guide natin sa parts, uh, part 1 or piece of 1 ay n over 4 pero um, okay, so 
So, and over 4, kanina na, di ba? Pero dito, sa part ng 3, meron lang siyang 3, di ba? 3 and over 4. Okay? So, ito yung magiging ganyan natin. So, ang gagawin natin, ang end natin ay 100. So, 3. Ang end natin ngayon ay 3n over 4. Ang end natin ay 100. And 4. So, 100 din na buha. So, 3, 3 times 100, that's 300. Then, divided by 4. Okay? So, 300 divided by 4 would be 75. So, hindi yan ang magiging gayon natin. Hanapin natin sa cumulative frequency less than. So, nandito siya, di ba? Sa 80, 82. Kasi walang 75, therefore 82. So, yung underline natin ang 82, yung mga data given dyan sa quarter 3. Yan. So, yan. Tiyan tayo kukuha ng mga time. Okay? So, ang ano natin, ang frequency of the quarter 3 is 12. Ang interval natin still 10. Tapos, ang uh, cumulative frequency below natin ay 70. Okay? 70. Kaya na yan yan, 34 so 50. Diba? Okay. Okay, so next, subject natin yung mga given. So, ano yung mga, ano yung, ano natin? Uh, using the formula, ang formula ng part, ang uh, Q sub 3 or part 3, kukunin natin ng LB or the lower boundary of the part 3. So, ang lower boundary natin na yun, diba? So, 140 minus 0.5, maging 139.5. So, 139.5 plus, ang 3 and over 4 natin, kung i-complete natin kanina, that's 75 minus cumulative frequency below kung, it, kung ito yun divided to so anong below niya 70 diba? okay then number anong frequency that's 12 10 times 10 the interval still 10 the interval next happy lang 139.5 plus 75 minus 70 okay that's 5 tama so, 5, then, copy 12, over 12, then, times 10. Okay, what's the next? Uh, 5 times 10, copy ako na, 139.5, plus 5 times 10, that's 50, divided by 12. Okay, so, copy 139.5, na ito na natin, 50, divided by 12. That's point something back. So that that would be four point uh, seventeen. Four point seventeen. So one thirty nine point five plus four point seventeen. Yeah, then okay, one hundred forty three point sixty seven. Therefore, um, why the three not the nine? 100.3.67 So, ito ang magiging quartal 3 natin So, nakuha natin ang quartal 1 Pati ang quartal 3 So, ang quartal 3 natin ay 100.43.67 Okay? So, that's all Kung paano makuha ang quartals for group data Okay?